Hey, Picks and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny, here with another episode of the Parlay Party. Um, today is Tuesday, 620, uh, June 20th. Uh, it's my youngest son's birthday, and we're going to roll with some parlays. Yesterday, we hit a two-teamer, uh, plus 260-ish. Uh, I think it was 263. Uh, we hit a three-teamer for plus 390-something, uh, so almost $4 there, so... Uh, we are rolling on these, and this is going to look a little similar here, uh, so bear with me. Before I do that, though, I'm going to bring in the graphic here in a second. You guys are going to hit the like button. Ready? Go. Good job. Uh, then you're going to comment what parlay, teaser situation, whatever you're into today in the comment section. Share me out. Tell a friend. Tell a neighbor. Tell everybody. Uh, you'd be surprised who wants to talk sports with this guy. Um, all right, let's bring in the uh, – the, um, graphic let's do this gonna look very similar why because it's the same damn parlay we're gonna get in our time machine and we're gonna go backwards a day and we're gonna cash this babe boy again three team parlay here reds rangers tigers i explained this yesterday i'm gonna go over it again we'll start at the top here with the reds this is my least favorite one it's the most juicy and it's the least favorite one uh noah davies on the mound for colorado horrible but over six era a bit it's a bullpen game for Colorado, which automatically makes me think Cincinnati. They're the hottest team in baseball right now. They're on a hell of a win streak. Um, ben Lively on the mound for Cincinnati. Not in love with that guy at all by any means. A four and four in the on the year, four point oh seven ERA with a one point two one WHIP. He's not lighting up anybody. Okay, but. The way Cincinnati is playing ball lately, I'm rolling Cincinnati money line. I'm not opposed to the run line. I'm on that individually, but for the purposes of this parlay, before I get a lot of shit, uh, Reds money line is for purposes of parlay. I'll take a juicier money line for a parlay. I don't want to hear nothing. I'm also I'm on the running line individually. But this one makes me a little bit – this is the one that I'm like, ah, okay, whatever. Um Rangers, White Sox. This is just a, a – I'm just picking on the AL Central at this point. Uh, White Sox, I, horrible. Uh, I picked them to win the division. They're five and a half games out of the division, out of the worst – out of the first place in the worst division in baseball, uh, which has my Tigers in it. Um, which, they're five and a half games out. They got beat yesterday 5-2. Uh, I don't see this ending any other way, but just the same way. Nathan Avaldi has found himself in Texas, as our friend Brian Gillahan says. He's got a whole new breath of fresh air, so to speak. Uh, nine and three on the record, two five nine ERA, under one WHIP at zero point nine eight. So against a Dylan Cease, who's not Dylan Cease anymore. Uh, three and three, four three one ERA. Dylan Cease can throw as many strikeouts as he wants. It don't matter. Um, it just doesn't matter uh, because at the end of the day, he can't get no run support. Okay? He threw 10 strikeouts against the Dodgers the last game out. I believe it was Dodgers, some NL team. But um, either way, 10 strikeouts, and they lost an extra innings. Uh, he threw – he throws over six, seven eight strikeouts a game, and they can't win um, unless it's against – Tigers. So I'm not really worried about Chicago. They are in a downward spiral and it's bad. So I'm taking the Rangers here on the money line. Yesterday I got this, excuse me. Yesterday I got this at minus 125. Excuse me, 125. And uh now it's already up to 137. I got the, this is at Caesars, okay? Uh when I put this parlay together. So take this into consideration. Also Speaking of the worst team in the division, I'm going right to it. Uh, in a good old-fashioned bum fight yesterday, we won. We're going to try and win a bum fight today. Uh, Tigers pulling out the win 6-4 yesterday, covering the run line, doing everything they're supposed to do. Not bad the ninth. Beat the teams they should beat. Daniel Lynch on the mound for the Kansas City uh, Royals. Michael Lorenz on the mound for the Tigers. I'm not even going to go into stats for either one of these because I don't care. Um, they're both not good. Uh, one's worse than the other um and he's not wearing a d um so i think pitching advantage i can't believe i'm saying this again but slight advantage to the tigers i also think the batting advantage goes to the tigers home field advantage obviously goes to the tigers put all that into considerations tigers don't bat in the ninth 
and they win this game. I think. I, I just think they win this game. Very similar to what they did yesterday. Uh, this is very similar. Everything. Uh, we're going to go on to the second one. I'm way over time. Two-team parlay. Look familiar because it is. Tigers not the bat in the ninth. Reds are not the bat in the ninth. The odds have changed from yesterday to today, but not much. We were at 260-something. Now we're at 250. I'm still taking this. Love this. Love this. Love this. Love this. Get after it. Reds make me nervous, but I still love this parlay. That's going to do it for us uh, at the parlay party. I appreciate everybody, as always, stopping by, hitting that like button. Don't forget, like, comment, share me out. This is Detroit Lenny with the parlay party. Picks and parlays.net. Don't forget about the app. Scroll in at the bottom. We'll see you on the next one. Let's cash two days in a row. Catch some bowlers. Let's go. Good luck. I'm not sure against me.